Medusa is one of the most iconic and complex figures in Greek mythology. Her myth has fascinated and terrified people for millennia, evolving over time from a simple tale of monsters into a symbol rich with cultural and psychological meanings. The earliest mentions of Medusa date back to ancient Greece, probably around the 8th century BCE. Her name derives from ancient Greek Medusa, Medusa, meaning guardian or protectress. This suggests that her origins may be rooted in ancient female protective deities, possibly dating back to pre-Hellenic cultures of the Mediterranean. Initially, Medusa was described simply as one of the three Gorgons, monstrous creatures born of the sea deities Phorcys and Ceto. The other two Gorgons were Stheno and Uriel. In these early versions, all three sisters were considered born monsters, with snakes instead of hair and a gaze that could turn anyone who looked upon them to stone. Over time, the myth of Medusa has evolved and become enriched with details. One of the most famous and complete versions of her story comes to us from the Roman poet Ovid in his Metamorphoses, written in the first century CE. According to Ovid, Medusa was originally a beautiful maiden, renowned especially for her magnificent hair. Her beauty caught the attention of the sea god Poseidon, who raped her in Athena's temple. The goddess, enraged by the desecration of her sanctuary, punished Medusa by transforming her beautiful hair into snakes and making her gaze able to turn anyone who looked at her to stone. This version of the myth adds a tragic dimension to the figure of Medusa, transforming her from a simple monster into a victim of circumstances and the cruelty of the gods. Furthermore, it introduces the theme of unjust punishment, as Medusa is cursed for a crime of which she is a victim, not guilty. In classical imagery, Medusa is depicted as a terrifying creature. Her once beautiful face is now twisted into a mask of horror. Her hair is a tangle of hissing venomous snakes, but her most fearsome feature is her gaze, capable of turning anyone who meets her eyes into stone. In addition to these physical characteristics, Medusa is often attributed with supernatural abilities. In some versions of the myth, her blood has magical properties. That which flows from the right side of her body can resurrect the dead, while that from the left side is a deadly poison. One of the most famous stories involving Medusa is her fatal encounter with the hero Perseus. This myth, recounted in various ancient sources including Hesiod and Apollodorus, has become one of the most celebrated tales of Greek mythology. According to legend, Perseus was tasked by King Polydectes with bringing him the head of Medusa. This seemingly impossible mission was actually a pretext to remove Perseus, as Polydectes desired to marry his mother, Danae. To aid Perseus in his quest, the gods provided him with magical tools, the winged sandals of Hermes, the invisibility helmet of Hades, the polished shield of Athena, and a magical pouch to contain Medusa's head once decapitated. Perseus found Medusa sleeping and, using the polished shield as a mirror to avoid her petrifying gaze, succeeded in beheading her. From Medusa's severed neck sprang the winged horse Pegasus and the giant Chrysor, children of her union with Poseidon. The hero then used Medusa's head as a weapon on several occasions, petrifying his enemies before delivering it to Athena who placed it on her shield, the Aegis. The myth of Medusa has been subject to numerous interpretations over the centuries. Many scholars see in this figure a symbol of feared female power, repressed by patriarchal society. Her transformation from beautiful maiden to monster can be read as a metaphor for the demonization of female power. Others interpret Medusa as a symbol of otherness and marginalization. Her terrifying appearance and her power to petrify can represent the fear of the unknown and the different. From a psychoanalytic perspective, Sigmund Freud saw in Medusa's head a symbol of the castration complex. Perseus' decapitation of Medusa would represent the victory of the masculine over the castrating feminine. In a feminist context, scholars like Helen Siksu have reinterpreted Medusa as a symbol of female resistance against patriarchal oppression. Her ability to petrify with her gaze becomes a metaphor for women's power to challenge and freeze male power structures. Medusa's figure has had a lasting impact on Western art and culture. In ancient Greek and Roman art she was often depicted as an apotropaic image, capable of warding off evil. Her head, known as the Gorgonan, was a common motif on shields, armor, and amulets. 
During the Renaissance, artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Caravaggio, and Benvenuto Cellini created famous representations of Medusa, exploring the contrast between beauty and horror in her figure. In modern and contemporary art, Medusa continues to be a source of inspiration. Artists like Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, and Lucian Freud have reinterpreted her myth in surreal or psychoanalytic terms. In literature, Medusa appears in works by authors like Dante Alighieri, Percy Bysshe Shelley, and Sylvia Plath, often as a symbol of female power or sublime terror. In film and popular culture, Medusa has been portrayed in numerous movies, TV series, and video games, from the classic animated film Clash of the Titans to recent interpretations in series like Percy Jackson or games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Although Medusa is primarily associated with Greek mythology, Similar figures are found in many other cultures. In Indian mythology, for example, there is the figure of Raktabija, a demon who can regenerate from his own blood, similar to the magical properties attributed to Medusa's blood. In Norse mythology, the giantess Harakan has snakes for hair, reminiscent of Medusa's appearance. In West African mythology, the goddess Edo Huedo is depicted as a cosmic serpent, echoing the image of Medusa's snakes. These similarities suggest that the concept of a powerful and terrifying female figure, often associated with snakes, is a recurring archetype in many cultures. In recent decades, the myth of Medusa has been the subject of numerous reinterpretations, especially from feminist and post-colonial perspectives. Some scholars see in Medusa a symbol of female emancipation. Her ability to petrify men with her gaze can be interpreted as a metaphor for female power to challenge and subvert patriarchal norms. Others have read the myth as a narrative of sexual violence and its subsequent social stigma. In this interpretation, Medusa's transformation into a monster would represent how victims of abuse are often blamed and ostracized by society. From a post-colonial perspective, Medusa has been seen as a symbol of otherness and marginalization. Her hybrid nature, human and monstrous, and her position on the fringes of the civilized Greek world make her a representative figure of other cultures seen through the Western gaze. The name Medusa has also found application in scientific contexts. In zoology, the term Medusa is used to describe the adult stage of many nadarians, such as common marine jellyfish. This nomenclature derives from the resemblance between the tentacles of these animals and Medusa's serpentine hair. In astronomy, Medusa lends her name to a planetary nebula in the constellation Gemini, called Abel 21, or the Medusa Nebula. Its shape vaguely resembles a head with tentacles, hence the reference to the Greek myth. The myth of Medusa, with its richness of symbolism and its ability to evoke deep emotions, continues to fascinate and inspire artists, writers, and thinkers. From a mere monster of Greek mythology, Medusa has evolved into a complex and multifaceted symbol capable of representing universal themes such as power, fear, transformation, and resistance. Her story reminds us of the enduring power of ancient myths and their ability to adapt and take on new meanings in different cultural contexts. Through the multiple interpretations and reinterpretations of her myth, Medusa continues to challenge our perceptions, inviting us to reflect on issues of gender, power, and otherness. In an ever-evolving world, the myth of Medusa remains a powerful tool for exploring and understanding the complex dynamics of human and social relationships. Her figure, simultaneously terrifying and fascinating, continues to capture our imagination, reminding us that even the oldest stories can offer new perspectives on contemporary challenges.